Okay, it says we are live. So, hello everyone. Uh, Susie Quillen with Perfectly Naughty coming at you today. It's been a while since I've been on live. We did not have internet at my house, and since moving the shop from a storefront to my home, it has been a little bit challenging. <laughs> Uh, and as you can see by the claim wall behind me and the pile of stuff behind me, we are still deep in remodel phase. So if you've been following on Facebook or you get my newsletter, um, you know we've been remodeling at our house. And if you're not following on Facebook or Instagram or getting my newsletter, why not? All right, you should go do that. Head over to PerfectlyNaughty.com and at the bottom of the page you can sign up for the newsletter. I send one newsletter a week with tips, encouragement, ideas, things like that. Keep it pretty simple. So I had a question this morning and I realized that I have not created a tutorial video specifically for this. Um, what I'm going to teach you is how to do a provisional cast on with two circular needles so that way you don't have to go back and pick up the stitches again later. It's one of the things about provisional cast on that that frustrates me a little bit. I love it. I love provisional but I don't like having to go back and pick up my stitches later. Um, so this is a really great technique for that. As I told the person I was speaking with this morning however is that it is a little bit awkward for your fingers, especially while you're learning how to do it. And that, um, so it can take a little bit of extra time up front to set it up. However, it saves you a little bit of time later when those stitches are already live on a needle. So what we're gonna be using today, we're gonna be using a worsted weight yarn just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to be using a circular needle. This is a size eight because it's a it's a worsted weight that I'm using. Eight's a good size for that. And then I'm going to be using a just a cable. And most of the time, well, maybe not most of the time, but you usually use some kind of a waist yarn when you do your provisional cast on, whether you're uh, kind of wrapping around the waist yarn or whether you're using the uh, the crochet chain and picking up the stitches in the back bump. But this is gonna take the place, this extra cable needle is going to take the place of your waist yarn. Uh, if you don't have, have just the cable, you can use a whole another needle. And it usually does not have to be, um, if, if you don't have the just the cable with the removable tips and you're using the, one of these, um, it often does not have to be exactly the same size. Just kind of depends on what's happening when you go to pick up the stitches. But um, I like to, to put, use, just use a cable and put the caps on so that way my stitches don't fall off. And like that. You don't even need to cinch them down really tight usually because um, it's not taking as much movement usually. All right, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're going to get started. I hope everyone is well. Um, I sure have missed everyone. But those of you that are in the area, I'm gonna be at a, <clears throat> excuse me, at a community market in two weeks. So if you sign up for the newsletter or and watch on social media for the posts about that. All right, we are going to you're going to have to look at my Stanley glass. I'm actually going to look over here. All right. Oh, look. There's some more of my stuff displaced and stored. <laughs> Half my, well, okay. Like a third of my business stuff is um, on my work table out in the dining room. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And another bunch of it is in the yarn room. Some's in the sewing. Oh, my goodness. But the sewing room actually has flooring now, so that's very exciting. And, all right, get that out of the way. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our slip knot and we're gonna put it on our working, we're gonna put that over here on our working needle, like that, okay. And then we're going to hold this over here as if it was the waist yarn, okay? 
course, I've got to get all of these things all going in the right direction, right? Okay. And so what you do, see how I, all right, there we go. You see how I've got those? Get that out of the way. So here is my candle. Needle. Let's see if I can check this one out of the way. Because I'm realizing how all of those are kind of going in directions that are making it hard to see which pieces I'm working with. Okay, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to get this tail out of the way. Hold it over here so it doesn't get tangled up. And what you're going to do is you're going to reach under your waste yarn. And in this case, your cable, reach under your cable and grip, and then over the top of your yarn and pull it forward. This is your first stitch. See how that worked? And see how it also put a stitch over here where you've got, now you've got one. This does not count. Your knot does not count. I don't recommend, you might need to, you, and you don't actually count this first loop on your cable needle. You see how we did that? So then we're going to go over the top of the waist yarn and under. Well, hold on. I think I just did that backwards. Let me do that again. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. We're going to go under the needle and over the working yarn and bring it forward. There we go. Now I'm doing it. And then we're going to go under and forward and then we go under the cable needle over the working yarn and pull it forward and we go under the working yarn and pull it forward and that, that just lays it that just lays it across over here and we go under the cable over the working yarn and pull it forward and it really starts to become a bit of a rhythm despite my clackityness of my little thing and this is what it ends up looking like and then and because you have these guys on here, the stitches aren't going to fall off. If you can, I can move that up out of the way a little bit more if I wanted to. We're going to do it again. I'm going to see if we can get better. Okay, we're, we're going to go. We're over the cable needle, under the yarn, pull it forward, and then I'm going to go under the needle, under the cable, over the yarn. And pull it forward over the cable under the yarn pull it forward under the cable over the yarn pull it forward over the cable under the yarn pull it forward under the cable over the yarn pull it forward it really once you start doing it it really becomes very rhythmic it becomes very rhythmic if you need to count your stitches you could stop and pop a, a ring marker on if you needed to to help you keep track of those stitches and then what happens that's we're going to just turn this around and and work with it now okay so now i've got this and i'm going to bring the yarn this way Get my knitting needle, huh? So now I have my yarn is on the back side of the cable. You can see that right here. And I'm going to be, but I've, I've got it so that it's going to end up wrapping around that cable needle. Right. So I'm going to go into that loop and I'm going to knit my stitch and then this one I'm going to just I'm going to come over here don't try to reorient this the loops that are on there just knit them as they are I know all of the little ends on the 
Well, these guys are clacking around. Let me take these off so it's not quite so loud while we're working here. I should have done that because I'm not casting on very many of these. These are the Knitter's Pride cables. I really I like those. I also really love my Chow Goo Red Lace and my Addy Rocket Squared. Oh my goodness, do you have favorite? Do you have favorites? Like most of us do. But for different things, right? I don't I don't use my bamboo needles very often. Here that's a little less noisy, isn't it? And then we just knit across, knit across, knit across. Then you if you need to make sure that you're counting them before you turn to knit, you do want to make sure you have the same number of loops around your cable as you do on your working needle. Otherwise, you will be all out of kitty wampus. Oh, the autofocus is doing all kinds of funny things, isn't it? I noticed, by the way, for those of you that are regular watchers, that a couple of my previous videos are really warbly and pretty much unwatchable because my internet connection was so awful and so I'm going to have to see about remaking them um, anyway so here is the basics of doing a provisional cast on you can join this to work in the round, which I like for bottom-up hats. It makes a nice folded double thickness brim. If you are going to fold it in half to make a folded hem, make sure that the turning row that you make right in the middle that you make them, um, if you're knitting, that you make a purl row. If you have purl on the outside, that'll make a nice clean fold line. There we go. And then you would just slide this knot off. There we go. Now all of these are down here on this cable needle. Which means they're ready to go. Which means now when I want to knit these stitches that are here I don't have to pick them back up again. I don't have to go through and take out that provisional um, crochet chain and pick up each stitch. All I have to do is figure out what end, so if I wanted to knit from this end because the working yarn is over here, I would slide my cable up and I would just simply attach a knitting needle and then these stitches would be good to go all right so i hope that helps that was just a little um just a little tutorial there let's see if i can stay, turn you back around <laughs> so that was just a little tutorial it's a little quickie one. hope you're doing well um i love to hear from you so if you've got questions that i can help you with um, let me know. You can email me at suzyq at perfectlynaughty.com. You can find there's a contact form on the website. So just go to perfectlynaughty.com. Uh, I think it's connect. Um, there's a tab for it at the top of the page. And you can go there and you can send me a message about tutorials um, or yarns or whatever. So thank you very much for popping in. I hope you found that a little bit helpful. And I... Hope you hear from me soon. Talk, bye. Have an awesome day. And knit and crochet beautiful things.